Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we are going to be taking a look at this character who I'm not entirely sure how we pronounce. Bale? Bale. Um, I don't know much about this character but I've heard there's um, some cursed items sprinkled in. As you can see we've got this little, this little cat fella going around. So this boy will take items from us and give us curses I think. I'm not exactly sure how this works but I'm, I'm very much intrigued. Yeah, I didn't want that. <laughs> that's that's not an item I'm supposed to be able to take as this character, so... But there, there you go, we've already seen a little bit of how this guy works. Uh, and I'm intrigued, apparently, yeah, there's some cursed items we can get. Some of them have some benefits to us, some of them not so much. But it could it could result in some interesting, uh, interesting gameplay. I'm, I'm excited to sort of see how that pans out. So we'll give it a go, but I'm always looking to try new characters with this series. I'm always looking to sort of keep it going. I realise it's been a little bit of a while since we've played it. So let's see what happens if I just take this item. Um, so, Wet Dice Shard. Rerolls pedestal in the current room. Disappears upon leaving the room unless it's been held. Um, okay, so... We're just going to take that. And then he comes up and hugs us again. I'm not exactly sure what the hug means. Maybe we'll go to the page for this character and see if we can... Uh, get some insight on here. Um, you've decided to throw away your old identity and wear a completely new face. The only problem is it follows you everywhere. As Bale, uh, the, pool are f the pools are flooded with 50 cursed cat items, a mix of high risk and high reward to just plain bad. The cat insists you must take every free item you see. Luckily you're provided with a free dice shard in every room to be treated um, as a value valuable bartering piece. Use your rolls sparingly as you need to weigh on what when to roll and what items you can afford to take. Okay. Starts with the ability to hold two actives and two consumables. Cast the blind does not appear naturally. Okay. So essentially, what I'm seeing here is this This is mainly just a character that, for one, has some cast items, but mainly we are forced to take whatever items come our way. We see a soy milk and we don't want soy milk. It's tough. Tages. We are getting soy milk. So... I'm actually a big fan of that. I'm, I'm the sort of person that sort of likes taking pretty much everything the game throws at me. So basically to me, this seems like a character that's got a few curses uh, sprinkled throughout, but also the ability to get a reroll every item room, which seems pretty amazing. So I'm really down for this. I'm really down for this. Um, unfortunately, something very good there that we can't afford. That is quite a shame. Quite a shame indeed. But yeah, I like these characters that impose some sort of restriction or uh, add that little sort of bit of risk to your game. They're always fun. I'll take that. I kind of want to do use that um, Satanic Bible before the boss, you know. Getting a Devil Deal off the bat seems interesting. Although I don't know if it forces us to take Devil Deals. That's a question that I've uh, that I've got now. Does that cat boy force us to um, take every Devil Deal we see? Because that would that would certainly spice things up quite a bit if uh, if you went to a devil deal, you just had to take them all. I doubt that's the case, but that would be that would be kind of insane. Okay, not too bad on these guys. We've got ourselves a bomb here. Don't think I want a bomb for that chest, to be honest. We've still got our wet dice shard here. If we leave it on the ground, it will disappear, but for now, we can hold it. Dude, I, I'm I'm utilizing Dumpy so goddamn heavily right now. He has saved me many a time already. This is why I took him. I mean, I was going to take him anyways, but why I didn't re-roll him is what I mean. Because Dumpy's just amazing. <laughs> Look at this. He saved me from getting hit like five times in this boss fight so far. I am indebted to you, my dumpy dumpy fella. Okay, and so from here we do get a cursed item. The cat's dog. Uh, this is just uh, all stats down in every way. So we can re-roll that. We got the cat's key. Um, spawns two to four keys. Keys are replaced by other pickups for the next two floors. Mmm, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. We got four keys out of it. I think that overall that's pretty decent value. And we'll hop down to the next floor. But yeah, that was the other one was a cursed one. I definitely didn't want to take stats down. 
Um, but that's actually kind of good. You can't get keys for the next few floors, but you get four keys right now. It said two to four, so we got pretty lucky to get four, to be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to see that. Happy to see we got on the luckier end, because we won't need that many keys out of the next two floors, I wouldn't think. Typically. <laughs> right. Take you out. And we've got fucking data miner. Okay, thank goodness he gives us this reroll, because... Yeah. Oh, what? Protects up to three hits per room. The damage is instantly dealt in the next room. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. Technically, on a boss fight, that could protect you from uh, losing your devil deal, I guess. It's kind of it's kind of intriguing. This, I like it. Sadly, nothing amazing there. We get one of these broken hearts that we can work with to reroll stuff as well. Quickly check in here. Nothing much going on. But yeah, I, I kind of didn't expect a normal item to be able to be rerolled into a cursed item. That's a bit unlucky. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to have to deal with a lot of curses here. But like it said, the high risk, high reward. There could be some that are really, really good. It seems so far we've got some mediocre ones that are neither good nor bad, really. Uh, they're just kind of a bit middle of the road. But I'm sure there's someone out there that, that have some really, really high risk reward associated with them. And those are the sort of ones that I can really get with. Okay. I will bomb to grab that, I think. Although it won't contain any keys. Eh, I got a bomb back and I got a penny. I mean, it's something. It's certainly something. You need to chill, my guy. You got so much health. My dumpy will not... Will not relent. He will not acquiesce. Right. We can probably use a bomb on this guy to speed up the kill a little bit. A little bit literally insta-kills him. We'll see what item we get here. Plus tiers, minus two heart containers. That's pretty risky, but uh, let, let, let's give it a reroll for a broken heart. There you go, I'm pretty happy with that. Some good damage. I'm, I'm liking this character. This character's pretty fun. This character's pretty fun. Especially considering apparently there's 50 of these cursed cat items. There's a lot. Ooh. He was gonna- my, my cat boy was gonna do something then. And I- and I unfortunately left the room before he did. Some mod tiers up there is lovely. Yeah, unfortunately left the room before he had a chance to, um, to do anything there. But getting a tiers up here, real, real nice. Good stuff. Oh god, I don't even know what happened there. Dumpy, once again, saving my gosh darn life. Okay. Pretty easy room there. Yeah, I should have, should have held off and had a little look to see what that guy was uh, was trying to do there. So I maybe missed out on a reroll or something like that by leaving the room too early. I'm not entirely sure, obviously. I, I don't know, but... I feel like it could have been something like that. Cool. We, we've got pretty decent stats at the minute. We've not got any items I'd consider to be, like, crazy good for us right now. Unfortunately, we've got these little buggers again that have the, uh... The in extremely laggy blood trails for some reason. I don't know why they're so laggy, but the blood trails on these enemies just destroy frame rate. Got them. Cool. But yeah, got a little bit of damage, a little bit of fire rate so far. I'm, I'm looking for a some sort of tears modifier. That's my next uh, my next thing on my shopping list here. And I'm I'm curious to see if there's any um, tears modifier like cat items that could do stuff. I do kind of like the fact as well that the cat items are essentially just like tweaked versions of existing items. They're kind of like the tainted versions of those items. I realise that tainted items exist via another mod, but you kind of know what I mean. Like the cursed versions of items that already exist. Like the the flip side of them. And I, I like that, and that's pretty interesting. Because it means that you've, like, you've still vaguely got an idea of what it might do when you see it. 
Okay, let's try and get these guys deaded because they're going to be real annoying. Okay. Nice and easy on those dudes. We'll see what item room holds for us this time around. Like I said, I'm really hoping for some sort of tears modifier. Or like a, a cursed cat item that actually has a positive effect for us this time. Because we haven't really seen that yet and that'd be cool to see. Okay. So this is an item that... Eh, it's not that good. Eh, Reroll it, yeah. Little Minx is also not that good. I really am not a fan of Little Minx. Regardless, I don't have a choice if I take it or not. Little Minx is good. I just... My brain can't fathom how to effectively use it, so... I never end up getting good value out of it. Basically, from what I understand, Little Minx, you... You do this... And you, you rage mode the enemy, and then it starts... It has more damage, starts attacking enemies nearby. And then once you unrage murder, it, it can be killed. While it's in rage, it can't die. But it, it just tends to make situations more difficult for me, in general. I'll try and use him how I, how, however I can. We'll see. So like, he's in rage mode now. I think I think while they're in rage mode, they take more damage from me as well. But like I said, they can't die. And then now that he's nearly dead, we pop this. Okay, it's, it's it's pretty interesting. We've managed to get perfection as well, which is some good stuff. I say I would say. Breakfast, just just little little Jesus juice, nothing crazy. Um, and we continue on. So have we not been hit yet? I think I think a little dumpy has just been a knight in shining armor thus far and kind of saved us from every hit that could possibly come our way. Uh, pickups have a small chance to replace with jelly beans. Now, I, I have no idea what jelly beans are, but I imagine they're not great for us. We'll take effigy instead. So, you realistically, you want to mainly save your rerolls for avoiding curses, but you can... There's, there's many uses for them. Right. Okay, not bad, not bad. Extra bomb there. I'm pretty proud of myself for not getting hit for so long. I know that now that I've said that, I'm going to get hit very, very soon. What what this uh what Minx would be really good with is um spider mod. Be able to see when the enemy's really close to death. Because with regular enemies, you don't you don't really want to use it much because you don't know when the enemy's gonna die or not. Oh, I see there's still two of them up here. The spiders don't really like to move. Okay, so we're finally receiving keys again. That's nice, because we were getting a little bit low. I was a little bit concerned. I, th I think I've figured out a kind of interesting way to use Minx here. It's just to, like, tap fire constantly, so it jumps in and out of enemies all the time. I think that kind of works as a, as a way to have it do that sort of multi-shot thing. And then have them fire off a few shots. Yeah, it seems, it seems reasonable. I'm not going to take pills for right now. Beautiful stuff. I guess now we're getting keys, we can check out the shop. We've got the catch reward. While holding, all red heart drops have a 25% uh, chance to disappear on a timer. After entering womb or corpse to consume the item and activate the alabaster box effect. That seems really cool, actually. Uh, we'll see if we can see if we can grab enough money for that. So basically, all hearts can disappear, but um, if we manage to keep it until the womb, we get a reward, which I think is pretty valuable, to be honest, because. Um, I feel like we're going to be able to be keeping it for quite a while, considering we have two active slots. Now, I would also like to open that chest, and that would make the Alabaster uh, Catch Reward box 
not quite as as plausible. If we had more red hearts lying about, I might consider it, but uh, right now it's a little little bit risky. We'll we'll see, we'll see. We'll play out this floor so we can find out See if we can get some more hearts on the floor. Maybe I'll play that chest beforehand, but I don't want to go playing it willy-nilly if we're not going to be able to easily recover our hearts. It's only a 25% chance, mind you. It's not like it's every single one of them is going to disappear. But it does, of course, increase the risk to us. Secret room here, potentially. Just want to check in case I can get into my boss trap room. And indeed I can. Lovely. So now we can afford the uh, the catch reward box. Plus two soul hearts, minus one. Eh, that's not very good. I don't think we want to take that. Um, if if it was if it wasn't for the tears down, I definitely would take it. But the tears down has uh, swayed me away from that idea. Pop in here real quick. That's just a bunch of batteries that we don't need right now. Go, my carroty boy. So many bombs. <laughs> okay, so we still don't have a ton of red hearts lying around. I do not like the look of this. Yeah, unfortunately, I am going to lose um, perfection here. Actually, oh ho ho ho, hold up. If I cannot get hit a third time, this guy's really fucking hard. My god, I don't think of this guy been updated. I don't remember him being this hard. Like, this guy's insane. So, anyways, we come out here, we take a full heart of damage, give me perfection back. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! The smarts. The absolute smarts of this man. The unbridled genius. No, not, not, not genius, but I, fe I do feel like a pretty smart boy for that, I have to say. I'm gonna drop that real quick. Right, so let's play this chest a little bit. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Four, four's decent enough. We can take that and that. Right, quickly go grab that half heart that's over there. So quite a lot of back and forth here, but I tried to play this character to the fullest effectiveness that I can. And I feel like making sure to uh, not take risks by leaving health behind is probably a good way to make sure that I do decently well. I can see this character being added to the roster of characters on our series as well. The character has unlocks, so that's always good. Right, so now at this point, we will we'll take this to start, but then we'll also take this. And now all hearts have a 25% chance to be disappearing on a timer. Which basically means we can't really leave hearts behind so much. Um, but once we get to the womb, which isn't super far away, we will get a reward. So, for example, let's see. Do any of these hearts have the timer? Ooh, hello. Well, this is very nice. We've got three of these pills. We might as well see what they are. Okay, I'm okay with that. I got, I got one HP down, which obviously isn't great, but overall that wasn't terrible. Okay, you've managed to put yourself inside a dead enemy. Well done. Okay, good. We don't have a reroll for this, so we're just going to take it. Not amazing, but we hop down to the next floor. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hello. Receive, um... That in exchange for Curse of the Blind. 
Yes. I needed the tier, so. And also, an extra burn heart goes a long way. But that's that's a really, really, really cool idea. There's one of our disappearing hearts. Look, did you see that then? All good. All good. Okay, so I missed out on an item that other floor. I really like that idea. So if we want to get random items and potentially take a curse that could be pretty devastating, um, we can. <laughs> and I think that's a good idea for divorce papers because we're in pretty big need of tears ups. Don't like the situation we're in with these guys right now. Thank you, Dumpy, for being the best little fella you've ever done been. I could play those guys, but I'm not not wanting to take that risk right now. Right. These do turn off, right? Yes, they do. We got a crane game in the middle here. Obviously, we won't know what we're getting, but could be a fun, uh, fun little thing. I wonder if we can get cast items in the crane game. Come back to me, Dumpy. Because I need you now. Oh, if you leave me now, you'll take away the biggest part of me. Ooh. Dumpy, please don't go. Right, let's play this. Gotta love it. 20 cent for nothing. Ooh, we got a we got a giant skull in this room. Nice. I'm gonna stay on, on top of Dumpy here because this is this is a room that I do not like the idea of right now. Okay. We do need to drop uh, perfection here to make sure we don't lose it. Right, exit the room, take the damage, come back, grab perfection. We get solved. I think this is dry, baby. Oh, host hat, no. Pretty happy with her stat. Thank you. Pretty happy with her stat. Dumpy just saved me there, although now Dumpy has uh, reclused himself from this combat. Okay. So I haven't seen that item room. Let's go find that first. We do have a Hagen Dars room if we want to use that at some point. Okay, you can get past with enough speed without uh, waiting for that room. It's good to know. Not much out of that room, unfortunately. <sighs> Bloody really? Really? Not a fan of this as a room at all. Two big Johns and a boss I hate. Cool. At least we got it done. That's that's annoying. I kind of annoyed didn't use Hagen Dars in this room. It would have been way better. Okay, good. So many consumables, man. We're getting loads. 
This, I think like that might be a new attack for these guys when they throw out that ball of spiders. I don't think I've ever seen them do that before. Okay, we got Dumpy ready. I'm wondering why we're getting so many chests, but then I realize we've got like insane luck. And we most likely will do for the rest of the run. Good. Okay. Come up through here. Just a black heart. I mean, I might as well just take it, right? So many hands. God damn. Yes, our consumable game is like nothing to worry about at all. Completely fine on that front. Yeah, goddamn, the Hagen room would be so much better spent in that room. Yeah. I got bopped by that guy, so drop my perfection. Go into the other room, take my damage. Grab perfection again. I really love this as a system. That's such a cool effect for a cursed item to uh, to synergize so well. Is this an XL floor? Man, this floor feels fucking massive. Can you chill out, Bernie boy? I just want to kill you. Okay, we have enough for the crane game or shop right now. I'm still going to play the crane game. You know I am. You know I can't be trusted with money. Okay, so I'm going to guess it's literally just these two. You boys need to chill the fuck out, my god. Do they just keep doing this forever? By the looks of it, yes. They they very much do just keep doing this forever. God damn. Okay, blind item. What are we gonna get? Hey, no curse. Okay. Not a great item by any means, but no curse is, is a pretty big positive for us here. Okay, we don't currently have um, Dumpy available, so let's be careful about that. Cool. Right, back over towards our crane game. See what we can get. Hopefully something actually good, or at least an item at all would be nice. I'm going to blow up a few of these because we have so many bombs right now. Surleon of the Forgotten is actually pretty good to hold on to um, for sacrifice rooms. I'll, I'll keep a hold of, uh, of that fella. Potentially use him down the line. Right. Back up this way. Give me my perfection back. Yeah, it's a little tricky getting over that, but you can do it. Right, let's hope we can actually get a payout. So we got ourselves technology, nice. And then we got ourselves voodoo head, which is also decent. I'm happy with technology, though. Technology is a, a fun one to grab. Right. Tis boss time. He spawned on Little Dumpy, so that was fun. I like being able to stand very far away here. It's rather nice. There you go. Lovely stuff, and we get Cat's Dinner, which... Oh no. Cat's dinner. Plus one heart container depletes all red hearts if possible. Well, fuckle sticks. That's pretty bad. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm going to quickly see if I can buy at least one red heart back. Certainly uh, not something I would have taken 
if given the opportunity to decide. Especially with the um, affliction we have based on our active item. Not ideal. Alright, what, what you got for us this time? Oh, okay, this time you just pooped. <laughs> so you don't always get the choice of an item. Sometimes he just kind of memes on you a little bit. But do remember it's only a 25% chance for a heart to disappear. It's not like every single one is going to uh, start fading away. Just try and stay with Dumpy. Try and use Dumpy as our god, our one true love. And we shall be fine. And the thing is as well, we get so many chests from, um, what's it called? From Perfection. That we're likely to get a good amount of red hearts just via that. Oh, this is our first effigy room. I kind of forgot we had that item, I'll be honest. Sometimes I have effigy and it like procs like absolutely crazy. And other times it's like, basically like I don't even have it. So it's a 15% chance per room, so... It kind of depends... Back we go. Unfortunately, thus far, not too many red hearts on the floor. Um, also, we do have Voodoo Head, although um, I'll be honest, right now I'm certainly not feeling too optimistic about using it much. Okay, Dumpy saved me there. Thank you, Dumpy. My sweet, sweet little dumpling boy. Hey, see there's a heart already. The, the, the thing that I really want to fill is these burn hearts, because obviously they are at significantly higher risk. Okay, Dumpy saved me briefly there. Okay, we got him back. Thank you, Dumpy. Ayo. Money galore as well. Gotta love that. Okay, unfortunately, Dumpy just decided, fuck this, I'm out. When I needed you most, you zoomed. Okay, some rooms have been de deceivingly easy so far. I kind of had a feeling secret room was here. Not what I wanted to see, but... Hey, her. Especially when he fucking hits my dumpy straight away. Ooh, hello. Um, only appears... Rerolls item pedestals into cat items from any item pool. That seems like fun. We'll take that. I'll also buy that too. I don't know why it only cost one, but I'm pretty down with it. That, that, that was that was a cool item to get. Good old IOU. Six broken hearts on pickup removes a broken heart on use. Uh, no, thank you. We'll uh, be re-rolling that. Um. Removes all his soul hearts if possible. Tears up for every soul heart lost. Nah, we'll reroll that again, I think. Activate the D4 effect on pickup. God damn it, game. You really. You... No! I forgot. Well, um, I'll be honest. We haven't come off too poorly here. This is not bad. Okay, at this point, I am going to, um... Deburn heart myself. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I, f I completely forgot about perfection. My bad. My bad, people. I completely forgot about perfection. But we managed to keep technology somehow. I think overall that wasn't bad. I think it was more so that I forgot that I don't 
have Mask of Infamy anymore, like the reverse version. I've also got the Wafer. This run's cracked, man. This D4 pickup was fine and dandy to me. Absolutely fine and dandy. Unfortunately, now I actually take the damage I take. Should've gone back and get a quick half soul heart from in here. I was like, I'll just come back and re-roll that item. Stupid. You stupid. You can't do that, you stupid. <laughs> That's a pretty fun cast item. A forced D4 re-roll. I really like this character so far. This character's a lot of fun. So this is the sort of thing I look for in brisk reward uh, characters. My bad. I didn't reroll into many curse items I'm noticing as well. Nice. We shall go negative for the damage. Um Let's be spicy. <laughs> right. Enemies have a chance to become duplicated upon room entry. Duplicate enemies have a small chance to drop um, soul hearts on death. That sounds awesome. Killed enemies have a chance to spawn a smaller duplicate with less health. Duplicates have a small chance. That, that just sounds hilarious. Um, plus two. I, th I think I have to take all of these anyway. So. Plus two black hearts. Um, one of the next hits you take will reduce you to one heart. Oh my god. Gain a permanent tears up after this occurs, okay? Um, tears and damage down while holding grants a massive tears up depending on the slot this has been held in. Wait, what? It, um, it removed my active item, which was just about to pay out. I'm a little bit, a little bit peeved about that. But now enemies are going to be duplicating all over the place and dropping pills and shit, so I'm intrigued. Oh, fuck! I no longer have Dumpy! Okay, now that is, uh... That's truly, truly evil. Also, I got reduced to one heart there, so... Fuck me, right? This is going to be rough. Full health pill? Ah, just spider unboxing. We're going to need a, a full health pill pretty soon. Oh, I like this. I like this. This run has gotten hilarious. I'm liking the half soul hearts. Imagine if we started perfection and I wasn't a moron. Imagine. Also, I really like this apple where we get like a massive fire rate boost or damage boost depending on which one we want. And that's kind of fun. That was close. I held my ground there. I played chicken. Also, we didn't even mention the fact that we have Randy the Snail now. I'm liking the, the tiny babies that it spawns. The little mini dudes. Oh, thank God. I forgot we had the wafer. The wafer is helping us mahoosively. Tears up, speed up. These stats deteriorate based on the current floor. You may lose health upon entering new floors beyond chapter 3. 
Reroll. Spawns a lucky penny. Minus three luck. You have to be fuck fucking with me, right? It did! It wasn't even a lucky penny. It wasn't even a lucky penny. How dare you. You just want to fart this time, okay? Okay, there you go. Back to the fire rate. I missed my luck! Do we have Gimpy? Uh, I think it was- I think that was just Milk of Baphomet being awesome. Okay. Getting used to not having little Dumpy is, uh, it's difficult. Post dumpy life is uh is a hard it's a hard life. I'm really liking all this duplicate enemy shenanigans we've created though. We've created quite the fuckery. For example, this room. How did I not get hit? You may be wondering. It's called being a heck of genius, I guess. I think there was a tree on top of that tree then. Okay. Trees be gone. Baby's gotta go. Baby's gotta go. Okay, we've managed to get our health back up to a reasonable level after taking a mahusive hit. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I gained double damage for the rest of the room though because of that, so fuck you. You screwed yourself. Right, down we go. Oh, got diggity darn. This has been a stressful one. I suppose that's the point of this character. Nothing this time, Catboy? Oh god. Wasn't even remotely paying attention there. Same with, same with that. That hearst spawned a smaller hearst, which then spawned a smaller hearst. I think that's I think that's what happened there. Don't drop that. I wanted that. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I wanted it. There's certain rooms which I'm sure are going to be significantly harder because of the affliction we've given ourselves. But I'm excited for the ride. Um, why is my apple in my pocket now? Cat Nugget. Your bombs limit to a max of seven. All bomb pickups after seven turn into exploding attack flies. Yeah. I'm not even sure what's going on right now. I don't think I've ever fought this enemy for this long. What's confusing? We've got a golden jawbreaker here. I don't know how valuable it's going to be. Ow. I got my trinket though. That's good.
Okay, I managed to get out of that one mostly unscathed. Bye! <laughs> Did not even remotely want to deal with you. And th therefore, I did not. Right. Keep moving. Oh, you're not dead? Shit. Oh my god, okay, he no, he was dead. He just spawned a smaller one that then spawned another smaller one. I'm gonna have to get used to that happening, because that's gonna happen a lot. There you go, there you go. look, I killed that enemy and it just spawned another smaller one. And another smaller one, god damn it. That's happened twice now, I'm getting screwed over by it. Mask of Infamy just saved me there. Oh my god, tiny ghosty boys. Heck off. Ah, I waited too long on that, my bad. Mask of Infamy saved me briefly and then I got hit. Right, you do you, Mr. Certain. I'll do me. Oh, Gimpy paying out. Well, not Gimpy, sorry. Old Bandage paying out. Okay, if I could stop getting hit quite so much, that would be fantastic. Ayo! We got Guppy Skeleton out of that. Right, let's go down here and see what's in our devil deal boxes. See if there's anything we might want. Brimstone bombs. Honestly, nothing there I want. Let's re-roll it all, baby. Um, open all doors and chests in the room. Forces you to zero keys while held. Eh, why not? There you go. You can do that at least. Spawns a random pill, size up, 33% chance to poop at the beginning of every room. Doesn't seem very useful. Gulp at a fishtail, enemies miss, spawn spiders or flies on death. Fuck it. Why not? Um, if the if the cat is circling around night and pedestal, destroy it and spawn the last item that was previously destroyed. In case the blind, if no item was destroyed. Why not? Oh wait, what? Oh no, I get to keep I got to keep my fire right, that's fine. So enemies spawn enemies which spawn enemies which spawn enemies right now. So we've got a... I'm not liking this this dude. We've got a pretty wacky setup going on right now. Okay, this is some... This is some fat BS right now. Don't much care for the way that this room is organized. Fucking get out the way, ghosty. How is the room not over? Okay. Oh my god. I wish we had more luck. We'd be getting so many more soul hearts right now if we had more luck. Ob obviously we wouldn't have, uh, what's it called at this point. We would have lost um, perfection long ago. But I wish we didn't get that minus three luck, whatever that was. Oh my god, stop spawning smaller and smaller ghosts. Right. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Magician's nice.
Magician's nice. I'll take it. Dude, what's what's the deal with the laxative pills? Every single goddamn pill is a laxative pill. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Another soul heart there as well. Yeah, that was virtually impossible for me to not get hit there. It's like a fucking thousand explosions on top of me. That I can barely avoid. <sighs> Run is... I've, I've made it into some sort of living nightmare. That I'm quite enjoying. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying said nightmare. Oh, I didn't know you did that, you shit. Right. Where the flibbity flipping fuck is the boss? <laughs> Bye. Yeah, these guys must have been reworked or, or updated at some point because they seem way more aggressive than they used to be in terms of bomb throwing abilities. Obviously, I've, I know that rework furs is the thing that's changing them, but I mean, like, I think rework furs got an update and changed how they worked. Unless I'm just stupid. I don't know. Temporary damage piece. It's not really that valuable, is it? My lasers are doing good damage right now. Hey, we got a chest. Hey, we got purity. Hell yes. Give me three more fire rate. Oh, dude, he's he just spawned a smaller one. With these guys, that's not really fair because these guys have insane HP. He spawned another smaller one. Man, I can't. I can't with this bullshit. And another smaller one. This is not fair. I can barely fucking see him. How dare you, game, right? I mean, I have to go back and get that half soul heart that's way away from us, because I need everything I can get right now. Uh, I did get damage aura this time around, though, which I'm much happier with. Just because I have the wafer doesn't mean that I can get away with uh, losing all my HP. The quarter. Yay. Not that I need it. Thank you. Dude, what, what happened to enemies spawning goddamn soul hearts? I thought I was going to be getting a few more than the amount of none that I've been getting recently. I think it's because my luck's so low. I'm getting mighty unlucky. Don't even know what hit me there. Oh, there's a half soul heart. Hello, boss. See how this goes with you, I guess. We do have damage aura right now, which is good for now. It's gone. I shouldn't have even spoke. There's just like a thousand spiders and flies spawning all the time. What is going on? It's like every time I hit the body, it just spawns more shit. 
Man, what even happened then? Stop spawning flies and spiders, please! Yeah, it's literally every time I hit the body, it just spawns more shit. Can I farm them, do you think? Is there a chance these give me soul hearts? Based on what I'm seeing so far, I'm gonna say no. Darn. Right. This is probably the best we're gonna get. We have damage boost aura. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna pop our magician card. We're just gonna do Mega Satan and hope for the best. This is a really fun run. They're having Herming's very, very nice for us here. We're able to hit multiple segments. I'm not liking whatever the fuck this attack is. Is this new? I'm slowed. I can't I can't get away from you and I'm slowed. That's again not really fair. I'm calling BS. Keep our distance, Herman will do most of the work for us. Thank God we have lasers, because otherwise these flies and spiders would be a huge problem for us. It's a shame you can't kill those in like any sort of order to influence what they drop. Because unfortunately they don't drop anything. It'd be nice if they actually drop something relevant to which one you killed last. Like it works in regular rooms. Put a few brimstones there. Bee skin or wax skin or whatever the hell it's called that's causing all the extra lasers is, is also been quite nice for us. Okay, he's almost in second phase now. We're almost there. Trying to use my boy here to just block shots. He's he's become a major distraction already. I'm I'm foolish for thinking that would ever work. He just gets knocked back so far. doing a, a, a decent job. Okay, we got him more than halfway. I think we're, we're I think we're pretty set in stone here. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on here. He has perished. But I think we have done it. Beautiful stuff. There you go, baby. A very fun run indeed. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a really cool showcase of that character. I think we really got to see a lot of that character and a lot of the different things that it can do. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.